Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and today we continue talking about Google Ads scripts and I have a comment today my subscriber Hon Calvin is actually asking me a question so I want to monitor my MCC account budget spend status either through Google Sheets or email is there anything I can do with Google Ads scripts if I understand the question correct this question is asking if, the, if there is any possibilities to control how much money I have left on my Google accounts or my standing orders. I'm not sure, but I will try to answer this question this exact way. So yes, there is amazing Google Ads script solution that allows you to control how much money you have left on your budgets in your MCC. And this solution is actually provided by a person that he's, his name is Dmitro Tonkich. He's an amazing Ukrainian developer that has this Telegram channel that is in Russian. And I translated this script for you and modified a little bit for you today so you can actually use it uh, on everyday basis. So it's a very simple script. It goes through all account budgets and checks how much money you have left and it also checked what currency it is. It's actually checking here currency code and it also checks what is the average spend for last seven days and depending on how much you spend for last seven days it takes the limit that you have in your account divide by this last seven day cost and actually calculate how many remaining days you have. If you're going to modify this script for you, for example, you wanted to use average 30 days spent, so you need to modify it here, then divide by 30, and you also need to, to change it here. This is, uh, this is the problem of this code, but I hadn't got much time to make it clean and uh, simple. But what you need to do is actually understand that uh, if you change the date, the time period, you need to change it in four places here. So I'm going to put it back to seven days because this is the, this is the mo most common and most correct uh, time period to control this. And this function actually returns us an object, a JSON object with a pretty simple structure that is containing each row there containing uh, account name, how much money you have, what currency of this money, how much money you spend on average for last uh, seven days and how much days you have uh, to spend this money. For example, in this case, if you have 14,000 and you spend 1,000 per day, you will have 14 days before you will run out of your budget. The same here, you have 20,000 in Canadian dollars, you spend 2,000 a day on average, so you have 10 days to uh, run out of your budget. And this function here is just uh, pushes the titles and then it actually uh, goes through this object and push it in your Google Sheets here. So what you need to know is these three parameters in the very beginning. This is the spreadsheet ID you're going to use where you wanted to put this data. This is the sheet name inside this uh, spreadsheet ID and this parameter will show you uh, I will actually show how it actually works. Let's let's create uh, a new spreadsheet. I actually already uh, created one and I filmed the video, but it took 20 minutes on explanation. I decided, hey, 20 minutes is not a fast enough because we don't have time to go through all this and it's not JavaScript lessons. So let's go and make it simple. Budget control live two, and here is going to be data import. And I need an ID of this file. ID of this file, let's copy the link here to make it simple. ID of this file is after d slash and before slash edit. So go inside and copy this. This is the ID of the file. So I go here and I change ID of the file on my new file. And my sheet name is actually data import. And then I put it as false. And that's all you need to do. You will also be asked to authorize this file and probably will take you several steps because when you authorize it for the first time, the Google will say, hey, something went wrong, authorize it again. Don't worry, this script actually works. And as far as I know, it works correctly. You will find the whole code in description to this video. And I also will put there 
another video from my channel that shows you how to check how much money you spend per account. So this is about how much money you have left and that video is going to be, hey, this is the three minute video how to understand how much money you spend per day. And you do it with the Google Ads const uh, a report constructor. So while it's actually loading, just for you to know, you have in add-ons here, Google Ads, you can create a new report and it's much faster to do it this way uh, if you just need to control how much impressions, money you spend, or how much clicks you have. So on average, this script takes about a minute or something. One thing for you to know that you can't run this on more than 50 accounts inside MCC. If you have more than 50 accounts, you need to create several MCCs, 50 accounts each, and after that you can run. This is the Google Scripts uh, limitation and you can't have any other way to solve this. So here we are. My MCC for these purposes is very small. So I have two accounts that have spent for the last seven days. They uh, have this money left in the account in this currency. So in, for this case, it's 15,000 rubles. And it has six more days to actually uh, spend this money. And after that, it will run out of the budget. If I want to see accounts that don't spend for the last seven days, just all my accounts I have, uh, I need to go here and change false to true. In that case, this script will return me all accounts I have in my MCC and last seven days for that account will be just zero. While it's still loading, I will show you another thing. Here, my accounts are actually sorted, but it's not always the case. If you wanted to sort your accounts, you create another tab like view or, I don't know, data for human. And then we just use sort function that takes all the range of the data. So it actually all the data here. It asks which column is the sorting column. In my case, it would be last seven days cost. And then I will take is ascending, let's make it false. Let's make it descending. So here's my data. You have nothing, nothing changed, but just in a few seconds, you will see a lot of other accounts appear. I mean, usually one minute, one minute, 10 seconds. And then you will see how it actually uh, sorting the data there. So difficult to talk about something when you just wait while it's loading. These people on TV and radio, they're just amazing. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's come here. This is the import that Google Scripts put here. You see a lot of accounts with absolutely no spend for seven days. A lot of different currencies, Thailand, United States, European Union, Canada, a lot of mess. So what I can do, I just in my new tab, I sort by uh, last seven days and you see these two accounts are again on top. The beautiful, the beauty part of this solution that each time the script will run, you will add new account, it will put it here and it will sort them uh, each time, no matter how many new accounts you have, you don't need to come back here. And then if you wanted to push this data to your email, you just need to install add-on that actually sends email from data from this shit. Don't forget, to put this on everyday run. So I will close this. Yes, and here you can you can set up frequency, for example, daily for, I don't know, 9 a.m. And each time you will see this is going to be, the data is going to be in your Google Sheets account. So don't forget to check my other videos on YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question or any problem you're really struggling with, it can be about the Python and uh, Google Ads or Apple search ads, but Google Ads scripts, or it can be about, I don't know, just Google Ads problem, then just ask me in the comments and I will try to answer you. I hope I answered the Hong question. Hong, if it's not the solution you're looking for, just leave me another comment and we'll try to find another way to solve your problem. See you soon and bye-bye.